Hi, everyone. Uh, this is the first full day in Idaho after uh, the governor's stay at home order. And as you can probably tell, I am not at home, though I am definitely spending almost all my hours at home, uh, but I still need to come down to the church building now, now and then for some things. Um, and it's just me here in the church building, rattling around all by myself. Um, I'm wanting to put up some uh, video messages on the church's uh, YouTube channel. And I want to reflect a little bit um, on just what does it mean to be Christian in this time that we're living in. And I'm having some neat conversations uh, by email or by phone with people in our church about that. Um, because it, it's just something that for us as Christians, we can't help but asking. And so I will put up video reflections here and there uh, about some things. You're probably seeing discussions on social media or maybe reading some things online um, that are also reflecting from a Christian perspective. I hope what I do uh, helps you think a little bit more uh, about uh, these kinds of things. It is an incredibly interesting time for uh, just thinking about the Christian faith. Um, we're being asked to, to think about it in, in new ways, I think. Um, there's some big questions that are being put to us now, uh, questions for Christians about how do we do ministry? How do we, how do, we do Christian service? Uh, in this period where we're so cut off from each other. Uh, questions about how do we do community as congregations? Um, we're not sure. This is, this is different than anything that we have been used to before. Um, questions about where is our peace and security? And I think that question often comes around in difficult situations, uh, war or economic downturns. Uh, the church has wrestled with that question before, but, but it's different now. This is unlike situations that we have been used to in our lifetime. Um, also questions about, can we uh, dig into technology and learn about technology in ways that we may find advantageous to the kingdom after the coronavirus situation is over? Um, so these are some things that I will be reflecting on, and I'd be curious to hear feedback from you. Um, you can either call me, text me, um, email me at jayhawkins05 at gmail.com. Hopefully also for those of us who are part of the Caldwell Church of Christ, even though this is just me yammering at you, um, that it gives us an opportunity to stay connected to each other. So God bless you. I certainly miss you. And uh, you'll be seeing from me again, I guess. Bye-bye.